Now the news from Parliament, the second reading of the Financial and Corporate Services Providers and Digital Assets Registered Exchange Bills 2020 led proceedings in the House of Assembly this morning and it was passed during this afternoon's session. Tabling the bills was Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Peter Turnquest, who said that the new legislation repeals and replaces the Financial and Corporate Services Providers Act 2000 that was legislated as a result of the country's blacklisting that same year. The finance minister noted how this new legislation will modernize the financial services industry. According to the Securities Commission of the Bahamas, which has been the duly appointed inspector of financial and corporate services providers since January 2008, as of the 30th of September, there were 344 financial and corporate services licensees. Of note, the Financial and Corporate Services Providers Bill directly impacts Bahamian entrepreneurs and operators, perhaps more than any other financial service legislation. While the bill attracts Bahamians engaged in corporate services activities, it also captures many of the non-bank financial service activities Bahamian entrepreneurs are involved in. And by non-banking financial services, I refer to financial services provided by persons who are not licensees of, as banks by the Central Bank of the Bahamas. Minister John Quest also listed special provisions of the bill, including placing a higher standard and duty of professionalism of licensees. Licensees will be required to take all reasonable steps to ensure that information it provides to clients are, peer, uh, are presented fairly and clearly. The regulations also require that licensees protect client personal data in keeping with the provisions of the data protection Privacy Personal Information Act. Further, the regulations will require licensees to ensure their data protection measures adequately address the collection and storage of personal data, prevent unauthorized access to personal data, and allow for the correction of erasure of inaccurate data.